Alright everybody, welcome to Ice's Leaf Green Adventure Episode 7. And it has been quite a while since the previous episode, and I have no idea if we've... Okay, we have not fought this minion over here. <laughs> so in the meantime, I could actually talk about this. I thought I'd have to put it off, because it'd be a little weird to talk about leveling up my Pokemon during the gym fight, but I did make the executive decision to... What is that? <laughs> I was about to say that I made the executive decision to level up my Pokemon a little bit off camera. I didn't want to go too overboard because I thought it'd be lame to take on the gym with under... Sorry, over-leveled Pokemon. <laughs> but clearly, <laughs> I should have leveled them up a little more, and no one actually really cared if I leveled up my Pokemon off camera. I asked in the previous episode, I got no response in regard to that, so I decided to just go with it because I don't produce these very often. I could, but I just like to kind of do this every now and again between videos. It's just something fun for me to do. Because at the moment, I'm not really like a gaming channel or a Pokemon channel. Unless I became like really popular off it or something. Then I might end up... Oh, okay, that was it? <laughs> that caught me off guard a bit. But, okay, one level 19... I honestly might just go for the Misty fight and see how it goes. Just because I have Big Salad on my team. But something I did realize was that I had Arizonian out first when I should have had Big Salad. So let me fix that, heal up my Pokemon, and then I'll be ready for the fight. Alright, I'm back. I'm gonna try and fight Misty even though... That last fight wasn't very promising as for what's to come. So hopefully this ends up going well because I do have Big Salad on my team. Okay, so there's two Pokemon just like Brock. And in case it already isn't obvious enough, this is a blind playthrough. And... I feel like that makes it a little more interesting. I'm trying to avoid stuff that's too re <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm not even going to get to talk. <laughs> Turns out this is a little easier than I thought, but that's mostly because I, of course, have Big Salad on my team. <laughs> and Big Salad's a little overpowered, so... I ha like I mentioned, this is a blind playthrough. I have no idea what level this Starmie is, but I kind of want to level up Cutter because I'm still struggling with the Tad fight, and I forgot what level he was as well. So hopefully this isn't too bad. Okay, this is kind of bad. But another reason I chose Cutter was because I have Sleep Powder. I ended up... Oh no, <laughs> this might have been a mistake. <laughs> hey, come on, get sleep powder out at least. Good, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I, I was getting a little concerned there. So now that Starmie is asleep, I could also go for some poison powder. So if Big Salad messes up, we at least have an insurance policy where... Okay, we're gonna try that again. So, if Big Salad messes up... Okay, I think Cutter's messing up. At this point, I just gotta switch. <laughs> it failed twice in a row. <laughs> I I'm just gonna switch while Starmie's still asleep. Because Big Salad is my best shot, and instead I'm just gonna use Leech Seed as my insurance policy. Hopefully this doesn't one-shot me or anything. We're good, we're good. I was a little scared of this gym fight, and honestly, if I started out with Charmander or something, I think I would very much have a right to be scared of this fight, but... Because I chose 
big salad, I think we're good. <laughs> it is cutting it a little close, though. Okay, it's, uh, it's a little close at the end, but I think the swap out <laughs> has paid off. If I waited one more turn, I'd be in a little bit of trouble, but I think Big Sal is going to pull this one through. If not, I could switch to Giant Rat and use a quick attack, and I'd pretty much be guaranteed to win. Part of me wants to do it now just so Giant Rat gets some experience, but I don't think it's worth the risk. Okay, thank god I didn't switch that. <laughs> that would have been bad if I swapped out the giant rat there. <laughs> and thanks to Leech Seed, I'm still at an advantage even after Misty used the Super Potion. Honestly, somewhat embarrassing on her part, but maybe I'm speaking a little too soon right now. Because... Oh, you know what? Never mind. Because now it's the same situation as last time. If Big Salad dies, I can use Quick Attack as Giant Rat. Look, I'll, I'll admit I'm kind of bad at Pokemon, but I'm learning, alright? <laughs> I, I don't remember a lot. I used to play Pokemon a lot when I was younger, and a lot of my knowledge kind of fell off. But here in this gym battle, I think it's starting to come back. Maybe I just needed a little eight-month break. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it has been too long since the last episode. While wow, you're too much, alright, you could have the Cascade Badge. Maybe I should read this before I start rambling on. Because <laughs> I know there's always a little bit of information. Yeah, it makes Pokemon up to level 30 obey you, so... That's how much I can overlevel my Pokemon if I really get desperate. But I think that would be lame to do. <laughs> I think it's a lot more fun to be underleveled and be the underdog than be overleveled and just sweep through everything. And I can use Cut as well, that's nice. And I also got TM3. Okay, Water Pulse. I, I was kind of waiting for it to tell me what it taught. Okay, I beat Misty, but there's some unfinished business that I need to attend to. And that's Tad. Yeah, 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 Sh shut up, Tad. So right away, I'm noticing in the Tad, I guess, fight that his first Pokemon is level 17. Which is a little concerning, considering that all my other Pokemon are underleveled. But we'll just go with this for now. <laughs> Like I was saying before, the Misty fight ended so abruptly, I forgot that Pidgeotto was really good against Big Salad. That is very concerning, actually. <laughs> I think now is a good opportunity to talk about the series now that the Misty fight is over, and the fact that, of course, <laughs> I've already been through this tw twice now. Twice by accident. But... As I mentioned, it has been quite a while since the last episode of this series. <laughs> like, <laughs> if anyone knows that uh, trope in like TV shows where it's been so long that one of the characters like grew a beard, that actually happened. <laughs> I, gr I actually grew a beard between episodes. It has been that long. <laughs> so, with it being that long, I have been. Uh, thinking about it, and I actually got an idea watching uh, my friend Sam's stream today. I want to know what you guys think about this, but what if I started naming some of the Pokemon after some of the people who actually watch these videos? I think it could be cool. I always enjoy coming up with the custom names, so I don't mind what anyone says. <laughs> Whether or not they want to be named after a Pokemon. Because I do plan to catch a lot more Pokemon later on, maybe uh, swap them out, that sort of thing. And it looks like Tad, I guess, is going to switch to Rattata, so I will bring out my own. Hopefully it ends up going well. But let me know if you think it would be 
a good idea or if you'd just be interested in me naming some of the Pokemon after viewers. And if you do want me to name Pokemon after viewers, then also let me know if you want to be a Pokemon in this series, I suppose. Because I think that could be cool. Okay. Now this is what I was afraid of, the Charmander. So Charmander is good against all the Pokemon that I haven't used. Okay. So I'm going to try and hit Charmander with Sleep Powder. First with Cutter. And if that doesn't work, then with Big Salad, please, for the love of God, work. Oh, no! Okay, this is already really bad. Please, we need this to work. <laughs> Not just me, everyone else who's watching except for Tad. And thank God it worked out. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do... Hmm. I think I should just stay as Cutter and maybe try and use a Poison Powder. This time I'm only gonna try and use it once because I don't think Poison Powder is very reliable. Okay, maybe I'll go for a second. <laughs> just one more Poison Powder. Why does this move not work? <laughs> is there something that I'm just missing here? I'm just gonna keep using Confusion. Because, oh no, that's bad. I gotta try one more time. No. <laughs> it's too late. No. <laughs> I got too greedy with that. Oh, that's a shame though, that poison powder didn't work. I think Arizonian is actually going to be my best bet against this Charmander. Maybe I could sneak in a sand attack. I think Arizonian resists this? No. What type of Pokemon is Arizonian? I don't know. I thought Arizonian was a ground type. And that resisted fire, but maybe that just didn't exist yet. So now I'm just kind of screwed. <laughs> this this was a mistake. Let, let's try this again. Let's try the sleep powder strategy. Oh, no. Okay! Okay, it worked! It worked! There's still hope! I'm not gonna get embarrassed by Tad, I guess, again. I'm getting the leech seed off. That should be enough for me to uh, take one more hit, probably. He already woke up? No! This is horrible! Oh, no. Maybe? No. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold on. Okay. Giant rat. Okay! Quick attack? Yeah! I remembered! I remembered this time, Tad! Always oh, Compton. Oh no. Wait. This guy only knows teleport. <laughs> Wait, did I win? I won! <laughs> Ted, you. You fool! You should have never given me that advice in the comments section! You just lost to your own advice, Ted! Take it easy, you won already! Yeah, I won! I didn't expect to win that! <laughs> I went to Bill's and got me to show him his rare Pokemon that had a lot of pages to my Pokedex. Look, all I'm gonna say is maybe you should have added Kadabra or Alakazam. I don't know if Kadabra existed in Gen 1, but... Maybe you should have trained that one a little more. <laughs> that dude got one shot too, that's crazy. So using a system, you should thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later, classic Tad. <laughs> what a Tad. Oh, oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really, you're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a present. Of... Oh, I got the fame checker. Oh man. 
I don't think I'd really want the fame checker, to be honest. <laughs> I I'm at like 234 subscribers. I'm not... <laughs> I think the fame checker is more of a harsh reminder. <laughs> so Arizonian is definitely the guy to train because he's only level 14. Apparently I'm on Nugget Bridge. <laughs> what, a, what a name. But let's see. Okay, this person has four Pokemon. Okay. Thank God, I can actually level up my Pokemon. So I think Arizona is going to be my main focus. Wow. <laughs> that was a pretty nice time for a critical hit. <laughs> Metapod, well this is free XP, but I'm actually not going to cut this out. Because something else that's... <laughs> kind of funny that I also remembered was the little schedule I had in the previous episode and if it, if you recall correctly the schedule was first it was the Fibonacci sequence which doesn't exist on this channel <laughs> I ended up completely scrapping it honestly what I was just saying was also really confusing, just like the video, <laughs> which is why I scrapped it. So I'm just gonna cut out all of that, and I'll probably just end up cutting to here <laughs> as to why I scrapped the Fibonacci sequence. Next up on the video schedule was the geography thing. My friends try to find countries on a map, and I was really happy with how that turned out. And that one was as scheduled, and it was very fun to produce. Over, a, It took a lot of time, I will say that much. It is a 50 minute video <laughs> of my friends trying to find countries on a map, as the title suggests. And it did take quite a while to make. I actually had three classes during that, which I was able to put off. With those classes, I was just able to put off work until whenever I wanted, pretty much. So there was only one class I had to keep up with. And I spent about a month or two on that video just working on it, instead of working on schoolwork. So after producing that video, I just spent the last month of that semester just desperately trying to catch up. But I think it all ended up working out in the end. It's a shame that that attack missed, <laughs> especially after I said, oh, everything worked out in the Okay, maybe I should swap off of Arizona, and I wasn't paying very much attention. <laughs> right after I said it all ended up working out in the end, nothing worked out. Let's swap out to... Let's play, let's play as Giant Rat. <laughs> after that, the schedule stated that there was going to be a problem with video. I think it was the problem with shopping. That idea also got scrapped, at least for now. If I feel more inspired, maybe I'll go back to it. But instead of that, I made PR3 is insane, a PR3 video. And <laughs> I'm assuming not too many people who are subscribed to my channel care that much about Platform Racing 3, but it actually got a lot more positive reception than I expected, which I'm really happy with. And I think the video turned out really well. <laughs> As I said earlier with the geography one, it all worked out in the end. And thankfully, there's nothing that's going to kill me for saying that this time. Uh, I think I'll stay as giant rat. But the video after this... I then proceeded to talk about my YouTube channel for 10 full minutes and then just end the episode. Yeah, I had a little too much footage for this episode, but at least it was easy for me to decide on what to cut out. Either way though, let me know if I should name Pokemon after people or not, or if you want a Pokemon named after you. If you don't want that to happen, just any sort of opinion you have on that. Definitely let me know in the comments section, because I'll always be reading those. And until next time, thanks for watching the video.